Welcome to Towards 2015, the program to broaden your business perspective in a large market, which is the ASEAN market that consists of over 600 million consumers. Dr. Horvath from York University specializes on business for social responsibility, which focuses on the social benefits rather than the business profits, including social welfare. Let's go hear his ideas out and see if those ideas can help guide the ASEAN market. So today we have Dean Horvath of Schulich School at York University from Canada. Swadikap, Dean Horvath. Thank you very much. It's How are you today? Here. I am fine, thank yeah. you. So Satsin of Yulongkorn University of Thailand is going to have a major conference sometime uh, next year, in July next year, actually 2012. But uh, next week, they're going to have a launch, a preliminary launch of this conference. I understand that the theme is how to improve social welfare and the competitiveness of Thailand and other asset countries. And when we talk about the competitiveness of Thailand and ASEAN, in your opinion, what do you think is the most important thing? First, I should say that this Sassin Forum is very yes. timely. Uh -huh. uh, it has to be seen in the context of that the world is transforming itself. Yes. After the meltdown which we are trying to climb out mm -hmm. from all over the world, mm -hmm. uh, Asia in general going to be the region of the world which increasingly going to contribute to the engine of growth and development in the world. Yes. And given that, and with the lead of India, China and India, mm -hmm. obviously Asia and Thailand will be a great opportunity also to grow and further develop. I see. Uh, and it's in that context, this forum has an opportunity to yes. look, look at what is the opportunities for Thailand? Mm -hmm. What is the opportunities for Asian countries mm -hmm. to really capitalize on this opportunity for growth and development? Yeah, and for Thailand, in your opinion, what are the competitive advantages and also the advantages? Well, it's, it's at the moment not talked enough about, but yes. in fact, the food supply in the world uh -huh. slowly getting very limited yes. because more and more countries population. are developing, mm -hmm. more and more countries uh, have populations who need food, yeah. uh, population growing at large, mm. and that resulting is that the food is really a mm. increasingly a scarce commodity. Mm -hmm. So Thailand has obviously an advantage already because Thailand, if I understand, is mm. the largest exporter of rice, for yes. example. Mm -hmm. uh, also energy is in short sh supply, mm -hmm and the biofuel is also an opportunity for Thailand to capitalize on. Mm -hmm. so Tourism is another area to capitalize mm -hmm. on. Tourism industry, uh, yes. Right, uh -huh. but to more, more uh, engage Thailand in development and mm -hmm. growth, it's some foreign direct investment has to come on board to mm -hmm. in Thailand in the manufacturing and service sectors, yes. as well as Thai economy has to create its own firms. Yes. from Thai base, both in manufacturing and service. Mm -hmm. But to get there, uh, mm -hmm. there is some hurdles for Thailand to overcome. Mm -hmm. And one of those, obviously, is the information technology, which is mm -hmm. a very important part of any economy today. Yes. And combined with that is education. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just looking at the latest competitiveness report, and yes. Thailand has a uh, lot more to do beyond the ranking in general mm -hmm. in terms of education, which mm -hmm. is key. And it's mm -hmm. not only in terms of education in quantitative terms, but yes. also the quality of education, I both see. at the secondary, high school and university level, college mm -hmm. and university level. I see. So you mentioned IT education as probably some of right. the weaknesses of Thailand's in right. terms right. of uh, international competitiveness. You see other ASEAN countries similar pattern of competitive advantage? Well, uh, the more developed part of, yes. of Asian countries are Singapore and Malaysia to yes. some extent. Mm -hmm. uh, they would be already at the innovation stage of development mm -hmm. while Thailand, Indonesia and yes. uh, uh, and the Philippines would yes. be at the efficiency level. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And then you would have Vietnam at the lower end, which is the basic I development. Mm -hmm. I think if Thailand engaging in this development process in a proper mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. they maybe can move up in mm -hmm. not too distant future to the innovati innovation stage mm -hmm. also. So we need to focus on improving IT, information technology, education, especially in terms of quality. Those would be the engine then to provide the growth mm -hmm. otherwise. What, yes. what about entrepreneurship in Thailand? Are you do you think we are quite competitive or we still have a lot of room for improvement? Um, it is always room for improvement, if not yes. else, because everybody is mm -hmm. getting better, everybody trying harder. Mm -hmm. So yes, but uh, Thailand has mm -hmm. the opportunity if, if you create uh, mm -hmm. the educational platform, information technology, Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, capitalize, being open for the opportunities mm -hmm. which Asia at large are providing and other Asian countries. I see. Maybe you should mention a little bit on the political system and also on the public institutions. What is your opinion in terms of Thailand? Well, in the near past, it was yes. a somewhat instable environment around here. Yes. For any mm -hmm. country with growth and development, mm -hmm. stability is a key element. Mm -hmm. uh, what I can understand, Thailand yes. entered a new phase. Mm -hmm. This has a promise for stability. Yes. So if the government can deliver, then the development uh, mm -hmm. for Thailand can be really promising, I think. Mm -hmm. What about public institution like the judiciary or other public system? Again, uh, it, it, it's room for improvement. Yes. If you look mm -hmm. at uh, Thailand's uh, comparative position there, Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, it's it's everybody in the world trying to be better. Yeah, so see. it's nobody can say we have satisfactory conditions in anything. So yeah, across the board, Thailand need also to emphasize mm -hmm. even in areas. I mean, mm -hmm. you you have been quite successful or successful in terms of tourism, but even yeah. there, the latest yeah. ranking of Thailand is number ten in the world. Mm -hmm. I think Thailand, we should have a position to be mm. in top three, four in the world. Uh, yeah. So it's a gain. Uh, but it needs some uh, leadership and development. I see. So this Sassin Bangkok Forum in the July next year will also touch upon social welfare. What yes. is your opinion on this? Well, uh, obviously, mm. one of the important things in, in the emerging economy is that hopefully mm. the social welfare also can develop its mm. economic development is not uh, end, mm. an end in itself. It's a mean to an end of yes. better living conditions, uh, mm -hmm. higher standard of living for the population at large. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, even the... Um, in this meltdown, we learn two things, that yes. the globalization is much more important than people ever believe. The world is, mm -hmm. world is very, very well integrated. Yes. I think Thailand knows that and they can engage increasingly in this mm -hmm. global environment. But the other element has to do with actually with uh, welfare. Yes. Corporations, the models before the meltdown, which has been focusing on the narrow shareholder model is short yes. term. Mm -hmm. It's, we learned it's very dangerous mm -hmm. for the global economy and for any country mm -hmm. uh, it's being practiced. Yes. I think that unless corporations learn how to adjust to a new reality, not only to focus mm -hmm. on short term f uh, profits, yes. but also other stakeholder groups and take a medium to long term perspective, mm -hmm. stable development, Mm. Uh, change corporate governance. Yes. Uh, maybe the uh, capitalist is not going to survive mm. the way we know it. And it I would see. be very unfortunate because capitalist mm. still is the most, mm -hmm. the best way to manage economies. Mm -hmm. But corporations should then adjust and regulate themselves yes. to focus on medium to long term profits. Mm and the stakeholder models, not mm -hmm. only the shareholders, but employees or which probably in many cases have to become partners, customers, yes. suppliers, mm -hmm. governments of the countries mm -hmm. or societies in which they are Communities, where the, the environment and the communities also. And the community, absolutely, yes. absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Local communities also, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
And I believe that it's, it's, we have to work on it, but it's happening in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. Some corporations are already practicing it. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Dow Jones Sustainability Index, I yeah. work with the triple bottom line, which mm -hmm. is the stakeholder model, and deal mm -hmm. with economic issues combined mm -hmm. with social, political, mm -hmm. and environmental issues. Mm -hmm. And those companies have been able to demonstrate mm -hmm. that in spite of the regulatory framework, mm -hmm. it's still possible to succeed and be mm -hmm. competitive. We'll